Hi students. In the last class, we dealt with one of the applications of Newton's rings arrangement, that is to determine the wavelength of monochromatic light using Newton's rings. Here we are going to learn the second application, that is the determination of the refractive index of a given unknown liquid using Newton's rings arrangement. Now this is my our second essay. Here also we have to follow the same route. That is, as far as the examination point of view, I am telling you how you must write the essay. You have, you should have the introduction, you must have the theory, and then you must write down the experimental procedure. In the introduction, it's exactly the same. How do you make up? That is the first part of the notes that I have given you for Newton's rings. That is the Newton's ring setup consists of a plano convex lens of large radius of curvature placed on an optically plane glass plate so that you get a, an air film between the lens and the glass plate having varying thickness. The thickness of the air film is zero at the point of contact between the lens and the glass plate and it increases towards the edge of the lens. When a beam of monochromatic light is incident, normally a part of it gets reflected from the top of the air film and another part gets reflected from the top of the, uh, from the top of the glass plate or from the bottom of the air film. These two reflected rays will superimpose and we get the interference pattern. The interference pattern is in the form of alternate dark and bright rings because along a ring the thickness of the air film is a constant. This much you have to write as the introduction. After that, we write down the theory. When you go to the theory, you have to find or first write down the radius of the nth dark ring and bright ring for a liquid film. So that I get my R n dash that is the radius of the nth dark ring for the liquid film is I cannot put mu equal to 1. I put mu equal to 1 only if it is the, the film is made of air. Okay, so here you have to write down the, you, we have to determine the refractive index of a liquid. So I write down the radius of the um, nth dark ring for a liquid film. So Rn is equal to root Rn lambda. Same as in the case of wavelength, I find out the diameter square here. So dn square is equal to 4 Rn lambda was what we got there for an air film. For a liquid film, there is an additional by mu. So dn square is equal to 4 Rn lambda by mu. Next, we have to find out the diameter square of the n plus k film. So, it is 4r in the place of n, we put n plus k into lambda by mu. So, that you get this, you subtract between these two. Like how we did for the wavelength. dn plus k square, small dn plus k square minus dn square is equal to 4r k lambda by mu. This is, I have represented the diameters of the liquid film by small d because we uh, usually represent capital D for the diameter of the rings obtained in air film. So, dn plus k square minus dn square is equal to 4 rk lambda by mu for the liquid film. Now, for air film, this, we get the same equation but mu equal to 1 and the diameter of the rings will be different. When you take the Newton's rings arrangement and you have an air film here and you observe the Newton's rings then and you take a liquid film you make a liquid film and you again you observe the uh, Newton's rings in both the case you get Newton's rings but in both the cases the diameter of the rings will be very very different that is why for the liquid film I represented it as small dn plus k minus small dn and for air film as capital dn plus k square minus capital d n square is equal to 4 r k lambda. Now for the air film it is this divide 4 by 3 you get you will get mu is equal to dn plus k square minus dn square by small dn plus k square minus small dn square. I think the theory is clear to you. Next, the experimental procedure. Figure is the same as that you drew for the first essay. That is, uh, the light from a monochromatic source. Uh, just a minute. Yeah. 
the figure is exactly the same that is there is a monochromatic source here parallel rays of light from will come from it you place a glass plate there then below that you place your newton's ring and your uh, newton's rings arrangement rays of light will be incident normally the same figure you draw here also then i say the newton's rings arrangement is made as shown in the figure when you observe through the traveling microscope you observe alternate dark and bright rings so then note the positions of the 20th to the second ring on the left and right from that you subtract and find out the diameter of the 20th to the second ring then calculate d capital d n square then find out d n plus k square minus d n square for k equal to 10 this is first you find out for the air film now you remove the convex lens place a few drops of the given liquid on the glass plate and replace the convex lens again observe the newton's rings now you will get the same alternate dark and bright rings but having a different diameter again you note the positions of the 20th till the second rings on the left and right subtract you get the diameter of these rings okay from that you find out small d o uh, small d n plus k square minus small d n square for k equal to 10 same way now i have found out capital d n plus k square minus capital d n square i have found out small d n plus k square minus small d n square divide between these two we get the refractive index of the liquid this is the experimental procedure in short this much must be written for your exam for this essay if this essay is asked okay so just go through the video once again the notes of this has been sent as pdf in your classroom so go through if you have any doubts please do consult thank you